come to Namibia and not taste the Namibian traditional food. Now, if you are looking for that place that can serve you the best Namibian traditional food, Kwama Restaurant has got you back. And I want to show you what exactly it is that I'm talking about. So follow me. What is a country without its culture? What is a country without its heritage? Not only will you experience the Namibian culture through the food served at Huama restaurant, but it is the art that greets you immediately at the entrance of the restaurant, drawn by some of the most talented artists of Namibia, depicting the Namibian culture. Welcome to Huama restaurant. Located in the most busy township of Winduk in the corner of Independence Avenue and Omongo Street in Comas region, Huama Restaurant has everything tradition to offer. It's a traditional setup that fascinates me and of course not forgetting traditional games such as this one known as Owela or Wera in two of the Namibian dialects Oshuambo and Rukwangali which keeps the clients or visitors busy as they wait for their orders. That I found interesting and very striking are the walls of Fama restaurant written and signed by visitors from all corners of the globe. Now let me take you to the restaurant itself. This first part or the ground level of the restaurant is not covered in cement but scent. Very well decorated with a traditional items and the tables are covered into a Shuwambo traditional cloth. This is where you get to experience the tradition of Namibia fully. Well, Huama restaurant also offers its visitors another option. This is a more modern setup restaurant which is found on the first floor. However, what's more interesting about it is that it's also decorated with traditional items. And of course, you get to learn a little bit about the history of Namibia through the pictures that are found on the wall. Now, if you're the kind of person that wouldn't be comfortable sitting on the ground floor covered in sand, this is the best option for you. Should you prefer some quiet time or perhaps you'd like to have a meeting while having your dinner or lunch, well, Huama Restaurant has this beautiful wall-decorated VIP room that you can book at any time. Also, be sure to step out a little bit just to catch some breeze 
and of course check out the beautiful view of Katutura Windhoek. <music> And finally, it was time for us to have our dinner. Is it dinner or supper? Because it was around, you know, the late afternoon. We can't call it lunch either. So yeah, the menu was there and we had to start ordering. You have traditional marathon chicken? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, traditional marathon chicken prepared in gravy. Four, one and two, thirty, half. Okay, so you can just get us the traditional marathon chicken, eh? Half, the one for 75. Marinated in 100%. Oh, I think I want the one that's marinated. So you bring us Mahangu Pap, and then um, Oshingali, and um, Omboga, and half chicken. And guess what? We didn't have to wait for long. Our food arrived just a few minutes after we had ordered. And of course, very, very affordable. For two people, the amount that we paid, I couldn't believe it. So our dinner has arrived and uh, oh my God, I can't wait to eat this. So we have Mahangu Pap right here. Mahangu is millet, so this is made from millet flour. And then of course we have the beans here. And um, because it's in Oshuwambo language, you know, Namibia is very much diverse. We have different kinds of languages. So in my language, you call it um, Makunde. So we have Makunde here. They call it Oshigali. I stand to be corrected. And then of course, in this tiny little pot right here, three-legged pot right here, which is very cute, we have Ombidi. We call it a hidi. It's spinach. And of course, Ojove right here. It's marula oil. It's called Ojove, you know, Shwambo. And of course, we have our marathon chicken. So this is what you can eat at Huama restaurant. So guys, I am very hungry. Let's eat. So I'm starting with the beans. Of course, because I'd miss it so much. I had to start with the beans, guys. You cut the pup and the beans. Mmm. Very tasty indeed. So now it's time for the chicken. If you ever find yourself in Namibia, you need to come to Kwama restaurant. This is where you're gonna taste the typical Namibian traditional food. We cannot talk about culture without talking about food. Did you notice something about the plates? Yes, of course. The plates are wooden. It's a symbol of culture as well. Isn't that just awesome? Let me eat. Mmm. This tastes so good. Excellent. And now it's time for Umbidi. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of Ojove for a better taste. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. Now, until next time, in my next video, do make sure that you stay safe.